As you're already aware, I consider tasks to be an addition to my nodes. And that's why I prefer to see them in a sort of an aggregator that lives inside my dashboard. Not all systems have this a feature like this, but surprisingly, many of them do. For example, it's pretty easy to do it on Evernote. It's not so easy, not so straightforward, but possible on Obsidian. And even the super node has something like this. For example, here on Evernote, I can create a task in any node. By the way, if you use the parentheses in a space bar, you can create it. It's a shortcut to create a task. And I, from here, I can add any information to that task. Let's make it due tomorrow. Here they are ordered by due date. But if I go, let's go all the way down here. Um, I'll add a flag to this one. This one's gonna be moved all the way up. Here it is now. There's not many options here, but you can do things here. And also, there is, if you use the medium size, medium or larger size a widget, you have the information, the due date here, and you also have the note here, so I can quickly jump to that note. But if you need more information, you can always go to the Tasks Kingdom, and here we have it by ta my tasks, uh, uh, organized by notebooks, organized by notes, due today, and assigned to me. I see this as the best of both worlds because at the same time, you can go to a list of your tasks and also check every single detail related to that task. For example, if you're taking notes during a meeting, you can add the tasks in between uh, the paragraphs and whatever it is that people are assigning to other people during that meeting. and all of the information is there. There's no need to create an elaborated title or even add a description to the task because you can simply click on the task and go to that note with all that information. And that, that's true for anything you do, even a project, even woodworking. When I'm working with wood, I'm taking notes, I'm sketching things, and I'm adding tasks of what I, I need to buy in between that information. So if I need more detail and I'm at a store, I can simply tap the tag, the task, and go to that note and check more information. And this is not something that only Evernote has, like I said in the beginning. So let's take a look at the other two uh, apps. And I mean, the Super Note is not an app, but there's an app that will aggregate the tasks. Okay, let's say I'm sketching something here. Uh, I don't know to build a box and I need to buy, let's say some wood. I don't know, let's add three meters of wood. We don't even buy wood like this. <laughs> now I can circle this, tap here, add a task. It will recognize the text and will ask me to add a due date to this. Let's add a due date for today. Confirm. So now all I have to do is add this task and it will be synchronized with my, with a cloud, which will synchronize that with the app on my phone. So every single task I create like that, drawing and circling and adding a due date will go to my phone. So let's grab the phone here now. <laughs> I just pull it down to, to synchronize, but it's already here. So wood, three meters. Who buys wood in meters? <laughs> Wait, you got the point. Okay, let's take a look at how this works on Obsidian. Here we are. This is my second account, not my main account. And by the way, I'll soon show you how I set up the timeline system on Obsidian. Okay, let's first create here uh, a new node tasks to work as an aggregator of my tasks. And then let's say I have a new client and new A, then we can add a task here. Oh, by the way, to make this work, you need 
the tasks plugin. There's an entire video here in the channel explaining the task plugin. I'm not going to go through it. I'm just going to show you how I do things. Okay. So we have here a task and I'm going to create, I don't know, a uh, call Mr. A and I'll add a due date, let's say tomorrow. Okay. So we have now a task inside a node in Obsidian. So now we can go to the tasks node and here we can create a uh, aggregator. To do that, start with three back ticks and then tasks and close this. And here it is, all the tasks I have on Obsidian. And of course we can refine this. Again, I'm not going to go into too many details here, but let's say, for example, I want tasks with has due date. There is an entire uh, website explaining everything you can do with this plugin. You'll find the link in the description below. So now it will only show me tasks with due dates. And again, we can refine this, remove the, the ones that are already done and, and anything like that. But the point is I can now for example, add this to another space in Obsidian and have this dashboard or, or even just use it by clicking here and taking a look. Let's say pin this or adding this to uh, a home page that you create and you tailor for your needs on Obsidian. Whatever you choose to do, my point is having this list automatically build for you is so powerful. If you read a description, a title of a, a, a task and know what to do, just do it. But if you need more information, that's just tap, click and open that task to see what it is about. Like everything else on my system, what I'm trying to do here is make the system work for me. Why create a list with all the tasks if I can make the system automatically create that list as I'm taking notes. Moreover, if the notes with all the information that I need, all the knowledge, all the data that I need are already inside action containers, why do I need to create waste time creating this list of tasks. Anyway, apart from grocery lists, I never add tasks to a list. The system builds it for me. Now I'm curious to know what you think about all this, but remember, this is just a piece of the timeline system. Thanks for watching. See you soon.